Hey guys, welcome back to Nonstop Soccer. In today's video, we got an exciting one for you today. We got individual and partner defensive drills. So let's hear it for the defenders! All right guys, in all seriousness, so if you haven't seen our previous defensive video, I'm gonna link it up here in the video, so you can click on that link. As I said before in that video, I think the best traits for a defender, whether you're training alone or with a partner is footwork, balance, and change of direction speed. All right guys, whether you're a defender or not, you have to always practice the basics of soccer like passing so you can distribute out of the back, dribbling so you can beat that attacking line of pressure, and also shooting just in case you get that one chance a game to put your team ahead in a game and shoot for a goal. All right, so be sure to smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. Be sure to like the video if you enjoy the content and comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. As always, be sure to go follow at nonstop.soccer on our Instagram because we have a bunch of drills there, passing, dribbling, ball mastery, whatever you guys may need. Uh, just to help you guys out as players. Also, before I forget, if you guys do want to check out this apparel, the shorts, the shirt, we got some grip socks as well. These are some great grip socks. Gain the edge. All right, we're going to put a link in the description below. If you use code NONSTOPSOCCER10, you can get 10% at checkout. All right, now for what you've clicked on this video for, we're going to get into the individual drills, and then we'll go to the partner defensive drills. Let's go. All right, first drill, individually, we're gonna work on our footwork just to get ourselves warmed up, okay? So we got a triangle of cones here. We got yellow, red, and orange, okay? Between each cone, all right, there's about one and two steps, okay? So about two big steps from each cone, okay? So that's the distance between the cones. What we're gonna do here, we got the ball at the top, okay? We're gonna be working on our pressure, okay? Make sure we're staying low, everything like that. We're gonna work on also, so pretend the attacker is taking the ball this way and we can step out in front of him like this, okay? So we're gonna go like here, we're gonna step out in front of him, use our arm to be physical, all right? Uh, obviously you're gonna wanna go the opposite way, so we're gonna be here. We're gonna work on our footwork going this way as well, putting our arm here, making sure that you can win the ball based on which way you're pressuring the ball. So obviously if you're going this way, you want them to go this way. You don't want them to slice and dice you and take you this way because then you're off balance. You're never going to catch up to them. So if you're pressuring them this way and they take the ball this way, maybe you can get in, get their arm on their chest, right, and win the ball that way, okay? Also, the third thing we're going to do is we're going to work on our pressure and then also getting that timed stab, right? Also, you don't want to be stabbing all the time. You, you want to be patient like I said. So if you're here, you don't want to be stabbing like this right away. You want to make sure that you're, if you're here. If they make a mistake, you can go ahead and go for that tackle. But you don't want to be going in right away because a fast player, obviously if you're an attacker, it's really easy to just go on by. So on to the second individual drill. So now that we're all warmed up, we've got our feet moving in the first drill. We were just working on closing the attacker, moving our body, switching our hips, making sure that we're getting in front of the attacker to win the ball, super important. Now this is just gonna be a bigger version of that. So we're gonna work on our speed at which we can close down this ball or the attacker, all right? So we got a diamond right here. We got a yellow cone here, orange over here, red, all right? And then to complete right here, we got an orange, which is where, where we're gonna start. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna work both ways, but for now we're gonna go out to this orange cone, okay? So we're gonna start here on our toes. We're gonna run out here, close down the attacker, forcing him this way, okay? Make sure you're within just over an arm's distance, okay? Just so you can get in that arm, you can get in your, your, your tackle if you need to. After we're here for a couple seconds, two, three seconds, we're gonna sprint out like we won the ball and then out to this yellow cone, okay? I'm gonna pay the price to what I'm dreaming of.
now into the meaty stuff, the stuff that the defenders do all the time in a game, okay? So here we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna be jockeying backwards from this red cone to that red cone, okay? It's about five yards away, okay? So in distance, just to let you know. So we're here. We're just gonna be seeing how fast we can switch our hips from one side to the other, okay? So we're gonna jockey, switch our hips, switch our hips, switch our hips. Once you get to this red cone, you're gonna sprint, okay? It's a full on sprint like the attacker's taking you down the line. You're gonna win the ball here, okay? Pick it up, go around this cone, turn up field, all right? And then we're gonna try and give a pass all the way out to this orange goal you see right here, this orange cone goal. Middle finger to the So on to the first partner drill, okay? So we're gonna have five cones set up here. All right, just about a footsteps length. All right, we're, we're gonna go back shuffle. So we're gonna go jockey, jockey. Once you get out of here, this last one, we're gonna turn, go to the post. All right, so follow me to the post. We're gonna touch the post and then Yuri out there gonna cross us a ball. I don't know what he's doing right now. He's working on his dribbling. He's gonna cross us a ball right here on the six yard box and we're gonna head it out. All right, once we head it out, we're gonna get our team up, get our team out of the 18 yard box. to the second partner drill so we have here a triangle of cones all right they're just about two big footsteps away all right and now we have a partner over here serving the ball and a partner here who's gonna be the worker all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go for one side right now and then we'll work the opposite side I'm gonna check out here boom check back he's gonna throw me the ball I'm gonna head it back to him okay he can either catch it or he can take a touch with his foot based on however comfortable he is. Now, we're gonna get a one touch left footed pass back to him, back to me, and then slotted into the side net. It's not a shot, this is a pass, so it's working on your distribution after you head it, pass it, stuff like that. <laughs> Here is the third and final partner drill. Very simple, it's just long passing. All you need is a ball and a partner, but it's what every defensive player needs, whether you're right back, center back, left back, to relieve the pressure from the defense and to find the forward's runs. Okay, so you're gonna hit the ball just like this. Across the field, we're just working on our first touch as well. Go ahead, Yuri. Here 
You're gonna do it right and left footed. So left footed here. <laughs> If you're a defender and you're trying to switch the field, you obviously don't want to float the ball for too long because it gives the attackers a lot of time to get to that position. So you want to also work on pinging the ball, which is just driving it just over the heads of the attackers so that it gives more time to your teammates to receive the ball and go upfield. Go ahead, Yuri. That was a floated one. That takes a long time to get here. This is a ping. So we hope you enjoyed that defensive drill video. Obviously, it just gives you ideas on how to train on your own or with a partner. Obviously, you have to defend well with your team as well. So not just these individual drills to make you better as an individual, although they will. Like I said, on your footwork, your balance, and your change of direction speed, you have to defend well with your team. So that comes with communication and understanding the positioning very well. So the pressure cover balance thing, we'll hit on that later on. But if you guys do have any questions, please hit up the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel to see more weekly training videos. Like the video if you enjoyed the content. And be sure to follow us on Instagram at nonstop.soccer where we post daily soccer and workout videos. Alright guys.